Hello and welcome to another video. I realized in the last one that I forgot to talk about my Pi's behavior with implicit optionals. Um, I will link the optional video in the description so that you're not super lost in what I'm talking about here. Um, but my Pi has a little bit of a strange behavior with optionals in the current version. I don't know. It might be it might be different in the future. So check what version you have. Check the change log or whatever. Um, but let me talk about implicit optional and what my Pi does to function signatures uh, in some cases. So let's jump into that. Okay, so again, we're gonna make a very silly function here. Um, and it's gonna take you know some normal argument and then some argument that defaults to none. Uh, let's say that it returns int, and, or let's just say it returns none. That makes this a little bit easier. Uh, and let's annotate this, in my opinion, somewhat incorrectly by saying uh, this Optional, optional defaulted argument defaults to none, and it is of type int. And you might see something a little bit surprising here when we reveal type of y here. Uh, and this is my Pi's implicit optional behavior. Virtualenv vm vm then activate pip install my Pi. Uh, you'll notice that I'm using version 790, so it's it's possible that it's changed since this video. But if I run my Pi on this file. You'll notice that we get something that surprised me, <laughs> and that is that MyPy will implicitly change this type. Uh, so we, we typed it as int, but because we had equals none, MyPy is like, ah, oh, I kind of knew what you meant, and changes this behind the scenes to optional int, or union, union int none, I guess, <laughs> more specifically. And I don't think this is a good behavior, you know, as uh, Python-M, this tells us, uh, where is it? Explicit is better than implicit, so I, I don't like this behavior for that reason. But fortunately, there's a way you can turn it off, and you can do that with mypy, uh, no, no implicit optional. And that will force you to type this properly, so it'll force you to make sure this, this type annotation matches your default here. Um, and in this case, you'll see that it says incompatible default argument for y, default has type none, argument has type int. So, yeah, from typing import optional, and you would type this as optional int, or union int none, whichever one you prefer. Um, and you can see now that it's happy with that, that result. So that's, that's no implicit optional. Um, I usually prefer to set this in my configuration file. So if I have a setup.cg, for instance, and we have the mypy section, you can do no implicit optional equals true, and then you don't need to specify it in command line arguments. You can see that uh, you'll get that same behavior here. But anyway, that's implicit optional. It's a little bit strange. <laughs> I understand why they made the design decision for that. Like, it's a little bit annoying to have to import optional uh, when you know. It, oh, it's it's obvious that this is uh, defaulted to none. But I don't know. I find that you know <laughs> that behavior can cause bugs more often than it saves time, so I think it's better to be explicit here. But anyway, hopefully this was useful. If you have additional things you want me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.